Several students at Cuyahoga Falls High School missed class today because of threats posted to social media. It all started after a fight broke out after school hours Tuesday night. And as Meg Shaw shows us, school officials and parents are taking the threats seriously. I didn't go to school Thursday or Friday because they weren't, they weren't taking it as serious as they needed to. Caitlin Schumann is a sophomore at Cuyahoga Falls High School. And she's talking about threats of gun violence sent in a private message on Facebook this week. The student, after the altercation Tuesday, posted something to the effect of, I'll be back and I'll spray your school. The district superintendent spoke with me on the phone today. He told me once the school was made aware of the threats, they worked with police to locate the sender. In Cuyahoga Falls, police told me Wednesday morning the student responsible for the message was arrested. Yeah, we, we did take it absolutely seriously and, and as a result it ended in a, in a very, very quick arrest. But parents I talked to today thought otherwise and kept their kids home yesterday and today. I, I don't understand how they're expecting any type of real education going on with our kids being in fear for, oh, okay, why are we put place and secure? What's going to happen? Are we going to have this drive-by shooting? I don't want to send her. I want to, our job as parents is to protect our children, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, the superintendent told me nearly 15% of the student body was absent today. He also said as a precaution, the school was put into place in secure mode. The place and secure situation is, um, is quite frankly something that we use fairly often. And all it means is limited hall passes. But Caitlin said she'd rather stay home than attend school in fear. I don't understand why they would have us go to a school with something possibly that can happen, why they would put us at that risk.